Hey everyone, so this is just going to be a very quick video on how to upload different types of external style sheets. Because I am going to show you if you go into wiki tools and try to upload files. You'll see here that you can't, that you don't have many options as far as uploading JavaScript files and things like that. You could do a text file and that could be a very good option um, for you but I'm going to show you some additional ways and so this is just an example page and then in order to upload some CSS code what I would do is I would create a new template so you start with your team name backslash whatever you want it to be so I'm just gonna say example CSS template and save the page then you can see that your template is created you can go back to edit to open that up and then once I'm here I'm just going to start with the HTML tag since this is going to be CSS styling, I will then have the style tag. I'm just going to make a quick note that this, um, that you insert CSS code here. And I'll show you guys a couple of examples of some CSS code that you can work on. Um, just for some examples to get familiar with some of the other different options that you have. Those will be coming in my next videos. Then I'm going to close it up with the style tag and then the ending HTML tag. And then when I save the page, ideally this would have the style on it. So then when you went back to save this page, when you try to at least, you can see that where the template was is now gone because the code is being used and whatever CSS code you had, which is the styling code for your page, would be styling your page. The next example that I'm going to show you and the last one is just how to do a JavaScript file. So I'm going to title this example JavaScript template surprise. Same process as before if you save the page you can then go this is another way that you can go to the templates that you created and if you didn't mean to create this you can just go back delete it but we did mean to create this so and then in order to get your JavaScript to work what you're actually going to do is I create another template on this page so I'll just call this one example JavaScript template 2 very simple and then you're going to go to that page and so if you want to see an example just to reference on our wiki, although we also have examples of this on our GitHub page, which will be linked below, you can just go to our main page. And if you go in our template bootstrap JavaScript, you'll be able to go in and see how we're using it. But for this, all you're going to do is huh, that's interesting all you're going to do is go on to the second template that you created for this I'm not quite sure why it's not giving me permission to be honest sometimes it maybe I 
just felt something in the air. I was very lucky. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. And so now this time, it should work. There we go. And so here, you aren't going to start with an HTML tag or anything like that. You're just going to put all of your JavaScript code here. So this isn't that good of an example because I don't have any that I'm uploading right now. But again, look in the Bootstrap video and you'll see me uploading that there. And so then you'll go back to your first template where you're then going to delete that template that you did. You're going to start off with your HTML, beginning and ending tags, and then say script, script source. Again, I'm just referencing this. Script source equals going to leave that blank for now and then at the end of it you're going to have another script tag and so this is the basic format for how to do that you're then going to go back into your second template that you have created and you're going to leave it open so that you can edit the code theoretically go up to the URL and you're going to copy it. And then that's actually what you're going to paste here. Then you do have to make one change on the URL. Instead of this edit right here, you're going to change that to raw. And then once you have done that, you can save the page. Then going to show you what it looks like if you go to this link. Sorry, my um, video recording, the screen capture actually stopped recording midway. So um, starting up with a little second part just to wrap up this video, you'll see that you have your code. In reality, this will be real JavaScript code here. And then when you save this page, and then it's linked to the template that you created on whichever page you're on, it will actually load the JavaScript. And once again, any formatting from it is going to go back to the page that the template's on it. And so I hope that this helped with showing you guys just uploading JavaScript and CSS code to the wiki and how to do that. As always, if you are using these videos, make sure to send us an email or comment, request more videos, and this will just let us know to include you in our iGem wiki collaboration. And so we want to make sure that if you're using these and giving us feedback that we are crediting you with the collaboration. And so thank you very much for watching these. Make sure to follow us and email us for all of the information. We have a wiki guide as well that we will send you. And so thank you very much. I hope that this is helpful and let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you.